Good morning or good afternoon everyone, depending on where you're joining us from and welcome to today's webinar. My name is Sam Moulton from the Business Review and I will be your host. It's our pleasure to have Heidelberger with us today who will be discussing the topic optimising production costs with a completely integrated workflow. Today's guest speaker is Sabina Robe, Senior Product Manager, Printex Packaging. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to our platform on 24. You'll notice that it's browser based, so if you disconnect for any reason, just click on the link you receive via email to rejoin the session. In order to ask questions, you can send these in via the Q&A widget at the bottom of your screen or use the questions box at the top left-hand corner, type them in there, and then click Submit. We'll try and allocate around uh, 10 or 15 minutes at the end of the session to address any questions or thoughts you may have. You click on the survey widget. There's a few questions in there for you to answer in order to provide feedback. You can do this during or immediately after the webinar. And if you click on the green resources widget, you'll find a couple of PDFs from our speaker in there to download. If you require help at any point, click on the yellow help widget or send me in a message. And you can also move and resize and maximize any of the windows in front of you to get a better view of the slides. But now without further ado, please let me welcome Sabina. Thank you and good afternoon and welcome as well from my side. As Sam said, my name is Sabine Roop. I'm in charge of product management for Prenect workflow software at Heidelberg, especially for the packaging market. And before I start with our topic, let me briefly introduce Heidelberg to you, although I assume that most of you will know it, but nevertheless. So Heidelberg is a premium supplier of end-to-end -end solutions for the entire print uh, pr printing industry. Sorry, <laughs> We have customers in over 170 countries around the globe, and we believe that print has a future even when Internet is taking some parts away. When you see high-quality commercial print products like luxury folding boxes or detailed labels. Uh, it's most likely that they were produced with Heidelberg equipment. But Heidelberg does not offer uh, only offset presses. We provide complete solutions, as you can see in this chart, uh, for the requirements of different print segments. And since Drupa 2008, as well a complete production line for packaging. So let me come to our topic today. How can we optimize production costs for packaging production? Before I start that, uh, please, can we go through a short survey and you answer uh, what are the biggest cost drivers in packaging print production in your opinion? so that I can check if that is what we will cover in the next uh, minutes. So please go through this little survey and tell us um, how, uh, what are the biggest cost drivers. We have here material, machines, labor, human errors, quality problems, or others. So it would be nice if you could click to two or three of them um, so that we get an overview what you think are the biggest cost drivers. So you just check the boxes on the left-hand side there and then click Submit to send those in to us. I'll just read the question one more time before we go through to the results. And it's what are the major cost drivers in packaging, print production, material, machines, labor, human errors, quality problem, or others? So check the boxes there. Press submit for any last minute votes. And I'll move us on to the results now so you can have a look. And the votes for everything but mm -hmm. materials is 71%, followed by quality problems on 50 are the top two there. 
So Sabina, if you just comment on these before carrying on with your presentation. Okay. That looks uh, pretty much the same like we got in our surveys, which we did in the past. Well, we had a little bit more on machines, but the rest is really what uh, we got as well from the questionnaires we send out or the customers we talk to. So I think my next slides will fit to that. So let us go on with it. We identified the, as the three biggest cost drivers these areas. First of all, on the right side, one very big part of the cost is the printing material, as was in your uh, survey. So special cartons, coated cartons, and multi-layer or plastic material are very expensive, and many kinds of carton and especially substrates uh, are not as fast and easy to order as paper, so uh, you have additionally to the purchasing cost as well the cost for stock, so that is a very big block usually in the calculation or estimation. The second big block in the middle is the unproductive time on machines, um, which is as well a very expensive issue. You only earn money if your machines are producing products which can be sold, Make ready and downtimes are adding only costs. And uh, on the left side, and I think that was in the survey as well, a little bit higher, errors in quality defects or changing quality cause unpaid repetitions and price reductions for compensation. That is as well a very big block. So these areas I want to address now, and the magic word to bring these costs down is, in our opinion, workflow. With intelligent software, automation and extended communication between the different process steps, you cannot only save a lot of costs, but as well boost the productivity of the print shop, which means you can produce more with the same equipment and people and earn more money. So Heidelberg offers with Prenect a modular software suite which covers the entire workflow from the first customer request to final delivery and billing in one integrated solution. And in this model which you see on this slide, mm, uh, it shows um, really an integrated print shop in all areas from order intake via structural design Prepress, print, and finishing are connected in one combined system and work on the same data, which is uh, the ser uh, server in the middle of this on the red dot, and the red lines are going to the different areas. So we have one central server system, and everybody is connected to it. The most important advantage of this integration is that all data has only to be captured once and is available for all following production steps. So if you cover or capture data during order intake, it's available for all the next processes. Of course, the data can be extended later on at any time, but there will be no contradictory data. For example, because at the beginning you type in, you want to have an amount of 300,000 plus 5%, and later, the, the print operator estimates all 320,000. And then the question is, do I have enough material or so on? Um, of course, quantities can be changed later on, for example, by customer request. But this is an order change that everybody involved has to know and confirm, as this could mean that production steps have to be repeated, causing higher costs. So we always make sure that the data is the same for everybody. And that one-time data capturing uh, saves time and avoids by these mistakes. And some data does not even have to be entered because it's calculated automatically by other data. For example, data from structural design and pre-press are recalculated for presetting data for print and finishing. 
This saves make ready time and waste at the machines and reduces again production costs. Quality is without saying, but in case of packaging, it must, not be, uh, must be exactly repeatable at any time as products of different repeat orders can be placed together in the same shelf. Prenec documents all setups and save them with a job so that the job can be exactly reproduced at any time, even with other operators. Besides, with Prenec you have an overview of all individual production steps. Head of production, administrators or other persons with the according user rights have a complete overview on all jobs and their status at any time not only from any workstation within the network, but also mobile from smartphones or tablets. So you can give appropriate information as well during customer visits. All integrated machines permanently give status feedback uh, and at the end of each production step, time and waste for make ready and good production are written into the job. So this information is available for recalculation uh, at the end and for analysis. Only if you know your production exactly, you can optimize your processes and reduce costs. So that is why we cover all and uh, collect all this information. This complete integration over all areas is very useful for industrial packaging production. So. I want to go now in more detail with some examples how can uh, Prenect reduce the costs. The first cost factor is the printing material. If you produce long runs and can order material exactly fitting to the job, you can save a lot of costs as you see in this example. When you save in average only one centimeter on the long edge of a 3B format, which means a 70 by 100 centimeter format, and print round about 50 million sheets per year, you can save approximately 160,000 euro per year per machine. And most packaging printers have more than one machine. So what does Prenec to reduce the amount of printing material? It starts in pre-press, where Prenec provides tools for automated and interactive one-up and sheet preparation, all based on standard data formats like PDF and JDF. JDF means shop definition format, mm, comes from SIP4. And the layout tools in our design and imposition software automatically calculate the best material usage. So minimum sheet size is not always the cheapest. The total amount of waste for the entire production chain is crucial. This means the waste between and around the product per sheet and the waste for make ready have to be taken into account. The smaller the rung length, the higher the share of costs for make ready. So it will be often better to take a smaller format with a little more waste uh, per sheet, but have less waste for make ready. Our layout tools compare different solutions of different machine sizes and show how many one-ups per sheet and how many sheets are required for the run length. So how much waste occurs, absolute and in percent. And if you have to rotate the shape by 90 degree and need other grain direction, all that is in this little table on top of the, um, of the layouts you see in this little picture. Based on this information, you can easily select the best result, which uh, can be produced with the lowest cost. Of course, you see as well if the layout is then fitting to your die cutting requirements and so on. As well, our color measurement devices require only minimum space for control elements. A spot of 6 by 6 millimeters is enough uh, and can be anywhere on the sheet. 
So the color bar can be very small and distributed between different areas, like here between the flaps. If you don't have this space, you can work with mini spots, which can be placed in any waste area or invisible flap, or if you even don't have this uh, space, you define areas in the artwork where the color can be measured. Another not loved but efficient opportunity to bring the costs for material down is to produce many articles together in one gang job. Prenect offers automatic gang job calculation to deliver the most cost efficient production alternative. Articles with different run lengths are positioned on the sheet according to the required amount. This can be done for rectangular labels which are cut by a guillotine, as well as for shaped items like folding boxes which need die cutting. So we take the, the die cutting layout as a base. Of course, the resulting layout is optimized as well for fast finishing. So we look for lowest amount of cuts and so on. Upon request, the articles can also be distributed over several sheets. The decision how many sheets are produced is based on cost parameters. So you can set up the costs or, or predefine the costs for material, for refinements, and so on. And based on these costs, the system calculates automatically the cheapest solution. By this, you can uh, save a lot of plates and make ready uh, costs, and this can reduce the cost drastically. Make ready reduction is another keyword for cost reduction opportunities. In this chart, you see uh, the results of um, what we did in surveys and uh, when we looked at customers how machines are used. Everybody is asking always for faster machines, but if you look to this chart, you can see that there is still a lot of potential with the existing machines to become more productive without buying a faster machine. Only this green area uh, is where the print shop is really earning money. The shocking result of this study was that less than 40% in average is really productive time on the machines. The light blue is adjustment, so make ready time, and the dark blue is then still time. So there is a lot of potential to print more which you can sell. So we defined for Prenect the target to optimize the degree of efficiency by bringing down the time for adjustments to half and stand still to a minimum of 5%. Uh, by this, you would gain a lot of more time to produce nearly double amount of work which you can sell. In the meantime, we have more than 850 customers with complete Prenect workflow integration, approximately 250 of them in packaging, and several were honored with awards in the past. I will come to an example of this later in this presentation. One of the success factors for optimization is our electronic planning board for intelligent scheduling of production processes. Scheduler has a detailed information of all machines and jobs for an optimal planning because he's online. Job information, including all production steps, bit delivery dates, and so on, are available to enable very fast planning and optimize device utilization. Checkpoints, for example, for material availability can be used as an early stage warning tool if plates, carton, or die cutting tools are not available at a certain time so that you can react in time 
um, and the material can still be ordered or the production order can be adapted. The goal is no waiting time at the machine. It is also possible to sort jobs in scheduler with a specific, uh, within a specific specified time frame regarding print colors, inks, die cutting tools or box types, group them together and plan them one after the other to reduce the setup time at the machines. So if you have the same inks for several jobs, you have less washing time and less um, make ready at the printing machine or less uh, tool change, changing time at the die cutter or setup time at the folder gluer when you have the same box types. And this results very often in much more time saving than any other action you can do. But as well, small things count. So barcodes on plates are used to load the job at the printing machine only by scanning the code from the plate and you directly have all job data of exactly this job available at the machine no typing or no searching. At the press, you can print out pallet sheets to identify each pallet easily without manual writing and use these pallet sheets to scan in in finishing and load the job data there. And we use, as I said at the beginning, data from design and pre-press directly for presetting of print and finishing machines. So feeder and ink zones can automatically adjust it. As well, cutting information for automated cutting processes like Polarmore CompuCut at the guillotine and box type and dimensions to set up the folder gluer are available. And the interactive simulation of the folding process, which you ca cannot really see in this little example on the left side in this little picture in 3D, can be a very big help for setting up the folder gluers for complex designs. It was not possible to show that interactive here due to the slow display in webinars, but I have placed an example on the website where you can look at it and you see the simulation of a complex box. Uh, to avoid unpaid repetitions and price reductions, it is not only necessary to prevent human errors and detect them as early as possible, but as well to check and control the quality over the entire process. No reoccurring data capturing and automated processes help a lot here. Additionally, in pre-press, efficient pre-flighting and comparison features for shapes and artwork enable very fast check if the prepared one-up is exactly what you expect it to be. The detailed pre-flight report directly links into Acrobat when interaction of the operator is necessary. For easy and fast corrections and packaging specific plugins are available, for example, to exchange barcodes to ensure their legibility, to set up separations for spot coatings or refinements, do special trappings, and many other things. The comparison of shapes used in the die cutting tool and in graphic design is as useful to avoid problems as is the comparison of the prepared one up with the delivered data to make sure that only volitional changes are done. And all parameters and settings are documented in the job so that it can be repeated at any time in the same quality by any operator. To ensure exact color reproduction and stable printing quality, not only exact ICC profiles, but also closed-loop color management in printing is necessary. 
with different measuring tools for inline and offline measurements, directly um, the ink feed is influenced to achieve top quality, stable over the entire print run. And of course you can repeat the job at any time and have all info available for achieving the same result. All machine setups are saved together with the job data and are directly available for repeat orders. 100% control by scanning of each separate sheet and comparison with the OK sheet or the released PDF, the proof from the customer, are very helpful, especially for printing pharmaceutical products. Inspection control is not only available for print, but as well for our folder gluer, Diana. To separate foldy, faulty products in folder gluer is cheaper because it is a single one up, not a sheet with multiple articles from which most are okay. So on last Drupa, we showed a printing machine equipped with inspection control and inkjet heads, which marked all faulty one-ups. And in the folder gluer later on, these one-ups were taken out automatically. We didn't even need an inspection system in the folder gluer, but only the uh, standard barcode reader because the inkjet heads had marked the barcode of each uh, faulty one up. And the results of the quality checks are documented. This report, for example, uh, was that we printed shows that we printed all parts of the job following the process standard requirements and all measured values were between the required tolerance field as shown by this green hook. Different information from rough overviews to very detailed reports about setup of the printing machine can be shown. If you want to have a closer look in order to see if there have possibly been deviations, this information can be found here in this summary of the sheet measuring. At a glance, you can see if the OK sheet, the first good sheet, refers to the required printing process standard and complies with the tolerance. And the most practical thing of this report is that it shows if the quality of the print run is in the required good relation to the OK sheet. So even if the OK sheet is not following any process standard, you see in this report that the print run's quality is correct measured in relation to this OK sheet. So it's up to you to decide if or which kind of report you forward as quality report to brand owners to prove the stable quality of the entire print run. Monitoring and analyzing data is one of the biggest advantages of integration. Since Prenect collects permanently online feedback from all process steps, you are always informed about everything the data can be used to track the job status, evaluate the recorded times, compare machines, and use a lot of different key indicators for productivity. I will show you a few of them. Here, for example, the evaluation of printing and folding of one specific job. You see make ready time, processing time for good production, the exact amount of good production and waste sheets above for printing and below for folder gluer. Or in this chart, you see a shift evaluation of a printing machine which shows processing times for make ready and for good production. And below in the shift progression, you see at a glance how fast the press run for each single job and how long make ready took. As well, it is easy to identify downtimes and check the reasons for it to avoid it in future.
on an even higher level is this productivity report. Here you can identify average printing speed of defined periods with good sheet production. But okay, now that was enough for reports. If you are interested and have more questions, please contact me or my colleagues and we can show you many more and show you how you can evaluate what you want to get out. Um, status information can also be checked remotely from a mobile phone or a tablet. This can be very useful when you visit customers uh, and you want to tell them the actual status of their job or decide on a delivery date for a new job. You can remotely check your production and answer the questions. Well, because, before I come to the end, a few smaller aspect, aspects which do not exactly fit under our three major topics but nevertheless show how Prenect integration can save costs. The integration of our CAD structural design software allows to create structural design of standard boxes automatically without operator interaction. The administrator who got the first request can directly select the design from the integrated libraries with more than 1,800 ready-to-use designs including all ECMA and FEFCO drafts, and types in only the main dimensions. The draft is created automatically, and information about outer dimensions, flat and folded, are available within seconds and can be used for estimation. If required, as well the layouts for one and or more machine sizes are created, and information about the minimum sheet size amount of one-ups per sheet, uh, and so on, are delivered and can be used as well for the estimation. And the created CAD data can be used directly for production of the die-cutting tools and for pre-press when the production order is confirmed. As well, the simulation of the product in 3D with or without graphic design which can be exported from the uh, structural design software or prepress modules, save time and material for customer approvals. Even refinement effects can be simulated to give a first impression, uh, which is not 100% uh, proof, but gives really a good impression. The 3PDF, uh, DPDF can be sent via email or a web portal to the customer who needs only an Acrobat reader to check it from all sides so the PDF is interactive. You can make annotations and so on. Well, there are many more features which can help to make packaging production more profitable, but let's come to our real customer example, which I already announced at the beginning. <clears throat> Druckerei Bauer is a packaging print shop in Germany which works with an integrated workflow from pre-press to finishing. It's a print shop with 90 employees which provides full service for packaging and label printing. They print in offset and digital and do all finishing in-house. Bauer invested some years ago in Prenect and integrated not only prepress and print, but as well their finishing department. The investment has paid for itself within the first 12 months, and since then they pay their annual maintenance contracts to keep the workflow up to date and achieved nearly 1,000% turn re in return on investment within five years. Uh, I plan to have Mr. Bauer here, but unfortunately he couldn't participate today as planned uh, to give you more details, but I think the figures are impressive at itself. And if you have detailed questions, please ask them later on and I will try to answer them.
So I hope I could convince you that integration, not only networking, of different departments of the print shop can make really a big difference for profitability. It's working very close together with all departments on the same data and knowledge using all synergies to make the entire process profitable instead of optimizing each department. Prenect cares already in administration, design and pre-press about print and finishing to reduce the crucial costs and gives you all the transparency to analyze production early enough to react in time without wasting money. So that was a very rough overview. Thank you very much for listening. And now please take the chance to ask your questions. I hand back to Sam to manage this, but I'm happy to answer all your questions and send them to us. Thank you. Thank you. See, it's now time for the Q&A session. Just a reminder of how to send those in. Click on the Q&A widget or just type them into the questions box at the top left-hand corner and then press Submit to send those in to us. We've got a few in already, so I'll just have a look at those. And the first one I'm going to go to is, what is the difference between networking and integration? Um, well, networking means you can uh, combine different production tools via the normal network and you send data from one device to the other. Uh, so it's usually uh, communication in one direction. Integration for us means that we really work on the same data and do not only send the data from one to the next, but always have this data centrally available and everybody sees really the last um, information of the job with everything in there mm, so that you don't lose any information on the way from one uh, production step to the other, but that you really uh, enhance it only step by step, but everything what was captured once is available then. So that, in our opinion, is really a very big advantage. Thank you. Uh, next question is, how much does it cost the uh, Pronect workflow? Okay, that is a very difficult question um, because that's really depending on what you have, what you want to, uh, uh, to do and optimize and how big your print shop is. So we can start with very small solutions by only combining pre-press with print, for example, or print with finishing. The, comple uh, uh, the complete Prenect system is modular, so really usually people start where they are their biggest bottlenecks and start improving in these departments and then add maybe step by step more. We can of course as well communicate with equipment which is there because usually you don't start from scratch but production material is already there and you add only things. So it would be nice if you would uh, send me maybe uh, the information of what you want to do and but compared to machines the costs for Prenect are very low, I can promise. Thank you. Uh, next one is, do you offer as well solutions for label production? As, uh, can you repeat, please? Uh, do you offer solutions for label production? Ah, yes, okay. Uh, yes, we started with Prenect for first for commercial, but then in 2008 for, for folding boxes. And since one or two years, we are focusing very much on the specialties for label. Mm, so especially for uh, the gang job production, which is very important for small labels, uh, we have done a lot of things and 
so in prepress there are a lot of special features for label and maybe you read in the press during the last year that we announced already a digital printing machine together with Gallus. Uh, especially for label production, which as well is driven by Prenect. So we do quite a lot of uh, things as well for for label, as well our uh, management information system, business manager, is very uh, much focusing as well on labels. Thank you. Um, next one I'm going to go to is you talked about 250 packaging printer working with Pronect. Do they all have the complete Pronect portfolio and what do they see as their biggest advantage? Um, these 250 roundabout uh, packaging printers are the ones which have uh, a pretty deep integration which means they have more than two or three departments integrated with Prenect. We have a lot more uh, which have only pre-press or only Prenect in press, which we have not counted here, but the advantage of uh, integration, which I focused on here, uh, is really that they could reduce make-ready time at the machines drastically, and they could as well reduce uh, repeating orders because of quality problems or because of uh, errors which appeared. So they could really reduce their costs drastically by integrating the entire production. One, the ones who have only in one department, they focus maybe more on other advantages of Prenect. In prepress, they have of course, advantages in in nice prepress features, which are all done on PDF uh, or in print. Uh, we have a, a very close um, um, presetting for the printing machines as well if we get the data from other systems, not only from our own, but complete integration means really reducing the costs at the machines in printing and in finishing and saving money there. Thank you. Um, do you advise on different paperboard substrate efficiencies based on this wholesome integrated approach? Mm, no, we are open to all the different substrates. Um, uh, we create the uh, ICC profiles uh, for the individual substrate or groups of, su of substrates so that we can print the optimum quality on it. Um, in offset, uh, of course, we are open to any material. As well, in digital print, we look to uh, work mainly without any primer uh, stuff but uh, only few substrates need special handling. So we are not focusing on special substrates. We have as well printing solutions which can save a lot of costs in substrates by not buying expensive, for example, silver or go metallic coated substrate, but print uh, silver in a flexo drive at the beginning before you do the offset printing, so solutions like that are available, but we have no limitations in substrate. Thank you. Um, next up is someone saying uh, they already have a CAD system. Can they use it with Printec workflow? Okay. Uh, so if you have any standard structural design system, whatever, Artios, Cut Impact, uh, Package Designer, or Simpack, or whatever there is, uh, and they are producing standard uh, CAD formats like DFX, uh, CFF2, EPS, PDF, 
Adobe Illustrator, whatever, we can import that into our workflow and use this information uh, in pre-press and in um, tool making. Um, but of course, it's not as integrated as our own package designer, uh, which can create as well pre-setting information for finishing and so on. But we can use it, yes. You can continue working with it. Thank you. Uh, just time for for one or two more at the moment. And the next one is how do you integrate business processes? Um, business processes. I assume you mean management information or enterprise resource planning systems. So. Prenect is based on JDF, on job definition formats, a standard format for meta information, and we connect third-party MIS and ERP systems via this interface. So uh, if an MIS pro, uh, system delivers the information in JDF format, we can import it and we deliver back information in JMF which is job messaging format. So we can do a bidirectional communication between Prenect and a third party uh, commercial system. We have connected up to now, I think, 38 or 40 different third party MIS ERP systems, including SAP and all the major other ones. Uh, but we always say it's a project because it's depending on what kind of information somebody wants to exchange between the systems. Some people only want to get the job data from the MIS system into Prenex. That is very easy. That is done within half a day um, to, imp uh, to make sure that that works. But other people want to send as well layout information and get back feedback for analysis of uh, different um, business informations so that you get productivities of machines and so on into your MIS system or the information when you get job data via web to print shops and want to get that as well into our, your MIS. So there are different levels of implementation, but we can do that uh, for every system which is enabled for JDF. That is the precondition. Okay, thank you very much. So I think that's the, the last question we're going to answer for now. And that brings us to the end of the Q&A session and the end of the webinar. So thank you everyone for sending in your questions to us. And thank you Sabina, I thought it was a great presentation and Heidelberger for sponsoring this session. Uh, to all the attendees, you'll receive an email shortly in a couple of hours telling you how you can access the on-demand version of this webinar. Or you can access this through our website, which is www.business-review-webinars.com. Once this webinar ends in a couple of moments, a survey will appear in its place. Uh, we'd appreciate if you took the time to answer the questions in there. There's only a couple today, so that would be good. And we look forward to sharing further webinars with you, so please keep an eye out on the website I just mentioned. Follow us on Twitter, which is at BR Webinars for daily updates, and join our LinkedIn group, Business Review Webinars. But apart from that, thank you once again, and I hope you all have a nice day. Thank you from my side too, and really looking forward to getting some feedback from you. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.